Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to turn a data table into a graph using your numbers app. For this example, I already have a few data tables made and ready to go that will turn into graphs. But if you don't have a data table, you're going to need to create one in numbers because you have to have a data table in order to turn that into a graph. To add a data table, you'll hit the plus sign up in the top and then you'll find the data table tab. There's a bunch of options, but you want that first one and you can select a data table that works for you. For the purposes of this video, we're gonna use the data tables I already have made here. And I'm gonna show you guys how to turn them into a graph. Step one is to highlight your data table. So starting in the upper left box and dragging the blue dot to highlight the data you want to graph. Then you're going to hit the plus sign and you're gonna to go to the chart tab. Now this is where you need to make sure you select the right chart or graph for your data. In this case, we're comparing how many people speak different languages. So we're gonna be using a bar graph. We're gonna keep things simple and select the first bar graph option. And once you tap it, your bar graph will appear. But wait, we are not done yet. While this graph looks nice and neat, it is not complete. We're missing a title and axis labels, and we need to make sure we have those for a complete graph. Here's how to do it. Make sure your graph is highlighted, and then we're gonna hit the paintbrush button. This is the edit feature where you can use the different tabs to edit the chart, the style, the data, and even arrange it. To add a title, you need to be on the chart tab. You'll find the title button and you're gonna slide it to make it green. Once you check that title button, it'll appear and you can double tap to make edits. But we're not done just yet. We wanna also go ahead and get rid of the legend because it's not needed here. So we'll go ahead and uncheck the legend button because it's not needed. But we do need to add our axis labels. So we're gonna go to the style tab and make sure we're on the labels button. Just like we added the title name, we wanna make sure we get our axis names there too. So on the Y axis axis name button, you need to check it so that it's green. And we're gonna do the same thing for our category X axis. Check that the axis name appears. And voila, we have title, value access, and category access labels there. But we're not done just yet. We have to actually make edits to do those so they are appropriate for our data. To add appropriate labels, you must double tap the title, delete the text, and add your own. In this case, we're going to use the same title as the data table, as it is appropriate and includes both variables. How many languages do you speak fluently? Make sure you have proper grammar here as this is a professional graph. Next, we're going to do our Y or value access. Double tap, delete the text, and put in the correct value. It's going to be number of people as that's the data that's graphed on the Y axis. Last but not least, our category or X axis. One, two, three, four, that would be the number of languages. And now we're done. Last but not least, let's check that our graph is appropriate by going through tails. Does our graph have an appropriate title? Yes. Do we have axis labels, A axis labels? Yes. I is for increments, 0, 30, 60, 90, 120. Fantastic, check. Numbers is great because it kind of does that for you. L for any other labels or a potential legend. We didn't need a legend and labels are taken care of, check. And S is for scale. Numbers also often handles this for us, but it makes sure that everything it, we don't have extra columns or extra bars or extra white space. This looks great. Our graph is complete. Yay!